Hi friends, welcome back to Teaching in Room 9, our region's largest classroom. My name is Julia and I'm one of the second grade teachers at the Soulard School. You may remember me from Teaching in Room 9 in the spring and summer. And then I taught reading grades two to four. But now I will be focusing all my lessons on teaching math for second grade. Welcome back, friends. It's so awesome to see you guys and be here with you together and do some really awesome learning here in this brand new school year. I hope you guys are feeling ready and excited, even though I know things are still feeling a little bit strange right now. So if you remember from my lessons before, I always started with something called the Mindful Minute. I'd like to go ahead and start my lessons again with some mindfulness or some yoga so that we are able to focus our mind, our body, our feelings on the present moment. When we're able to do that and slow down, release some of that tension we might be feeling throughout the day, it really helps us to refocus and center our body so that we are ready to learn. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with three deep breaths. So I'd like you to try to relax your shoulders, let go of any tension you might be feeling in your neck or your forehead or your chest. We're gonna take a deep breath in through our nose and count to three and out through our mouth, counting to three. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Breathe in. Again, one, two, three, and breathe out. One, two, three, last one, breathe in. noticed my chart right here that shows that we're about to learn about clocks and time. So what I want you to do is we're going to take a deep breath in through our nose and you're going to raise your arms above your head in a circle to make a clock with your body. You ready? Breathe in through your nose and out. Nice job. Again, make a clock with your body. Breathe in. And out. Nice job. Last time, breathe in through your nose. And out. Through your mouth. Nice job, friends. Did you enjoy doing that clock yoga? I bet you probably haven't done a lot of clock yoga before. I really haven't done any clock yoga before either. But when I knew that I was gonna learn and teach about math and uh, specifically time this week, I thought about a clock. And I thought about how it's nice and big and round. And when we open our arms to a big circle above our head, it opens up our airways and allows us to get some really nice deep breaths. I also thought about the long and short hand, that we can be nice and tall and straight, just like in mountain pose. I also thought about all the little ticks that go around the clock, that maybe we can do some exhales and do some uh, breathing and yoga exercises with clocks all week. All right, friends, you guys did an amazing job. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling focused, centered and ready to get going for our day. Okay, so I also used to start our lessons with our learning objectives for the week, and I always put them in I can statements. So for our learning objectives this week, it says, I can tell and write time on analog and digital clocks. All right, so we're gonna be able to tell time, write time, and we're gonna be looking at both analog and digital clocks. Can I get a Me Too at home, a silent agreement for sign language Me Too, if you've heard of an analog clock before? 
Nice. I'm seeing some friends that are saying me too. And maybe you've seen a clock like this before. I'm sure that you have, but maybe you didn't realize it's called analog clock. So analog clocks are the ones that have the numbers that go all the way around and the long and short hand. It also makes me think of a watch that you might see on someone's wrist, or um, a lot of times you'll see analog clocks in schools and stuff as well. Then I know a lot of my friends have seen digital clocks before. Okay, you have digital clocks on your cell phones, on your stove or your microwave at home, all sorts of different places in your cars, lots of different places like that. And the easy thing about digital clocks is all they do is they have the hour, like you can see right here, and it's just gonna have the number. So instead of having to figure out what time it is based on the long and short hands, you can just look at it and read the time. And it'll have the hour on this side, you can see it with my pink hour there, and minute on this side. And a lot of the times too, it will mark on your digital clock whether it is AM or PM. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on all of our lessons this week. All right, so I thought getting started with our lessons all week, we could sing a song here together. All right, I wrote this song to a tune called Yankee Doodle. Can I get a me too if you've ever heard Yankee Doodle? For sure, right? Lots of my friends know Yankee Doodle. So I took that tune that everyone knows and I wrote a song about telling time. So we're gonna sing it together and I'm hoping by the end of the week you can sing along with me at home. And then we're gonna go through each part of the song because it really tells us how to tell time. And then we'll go through this chart here together as well. All right, are you guys ready? Nice, okay, ready? 24 hours in a day, 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in one minute, that's how we measure time. Then there's afternoon and night, it's judged by a.m., p.m. Midnight to noon would be a.m., noon to night is p.m. When you look right at a clock, you'll see a long and short hand. The short will tell you what's the hour, the long will show the minutes. Until the short reaches the next, it's still within the hour. The long hand, you'll start at 12 and just skip down five fives. Nice job, did you guys like that song? Awesome. So we're gonna sing that every day this week together and hopefully by the end, you'll get it stuck in your brain so you'll never forget about how to tell time. And I know by the end of this week too, you guys will be pros at being able to tell time. All right, so let's go ahead and start looking at our chart right here. And I'm gonna sort of make connections from the song to the chart to help us understand better. So in the very beginning of the song, it says 24 hours in one day, okay? Then let's break that apart even more. So let's look at the hours. How, there's 24 hours, how many minutes are in an hour? You got it, 60 minutes in one hour. So when the clock goes all the way around one full time, it's been 60 minutes. One hour equals or is the same as 60 minutes. Let's say that again together. One hour equals or is the same as 60 minutes. Nice job, guys. All right, then let's take that 60 minutes, let's break it down. In one minute, how many seconds? You got it, you guys are so smart. So when it goes all the way around, or not all the way around, but when just from the second hand goes all the way around once, then the minute will click over and it has been one minute. So review again, 60 seconds is the same as one minute. 60 minutes is the same as one hour, and there are 24 hours in one day. Then we also have a.m. and p.m. So the hour hand will go around and go to all 12 hours. Then that has been 12 hours, and then it's gonna do it again. So one of them is a.m., then it will be p.m. So it goes around the clock two times, 12 hours, plus 12 hours equals 24. Nice job, friends. All right, so let's go ahead and look through um, some of the specifics here. Let's start on the pink 
hand side over here. It says hour. So we know that the hour is the shorthand. The shorthand will tell you what's the hour. And so then you wanna see, obviously there's 12 hours on the clock, we talked about that. I'm gonna look at this part right down here that says, find the hour. Look at the shorthand. Are you looking? Good job. Find the number it is on or just past. This is where it can get a little bit tricky. What number is the shorthand pointing at on this analog clock here on my chart? Nice job. You guys can see easily that it is pointing right at the two. But sometimes when you look at a clock, the shorthand might be in between two numbers. So an easy way to remember that is, just like it said in our song, until the short reaches the next, it's still within the hour. So when it goes from two until it gets all the way to three, it's still two o'clock, okay? So once it's at that hour, this here we can see it's at two. This, as the minute hand moves around, the hour is going to get closer and closer to the three but not until it gets to the three is it three o'clock. It'll be two o'clock from here all the way to here. Now, what about once it's on three and it's right in between, is it three o'clock or four o'clock? You got it. So three all the way to four is still three o'clock. Then when you hit four, four all the way to five, is still four o'clock. Until it hits that next hour, it's still within that same hour, okay? If that feels a little bit tricky right now, it's okay. We're gonna practice it together all week long, and I know you guys will get it by the end of this week. All right, so we looked at our, uh, our hand here, and we decided it's on two, right? It's pointing right at two, so it's easy for us to decide that it is two o'clock. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and write two down here, because we wanna put the same time on our digital clock as is in our analog clock. So we've already found the hour and we know it's two o'clock. So I'm gonna put the two right here underneath the hour. All right, now we have to find the minute, right? The long will show you the minutes. So we look on this blue side here, long hand, minute, 60 minutes in a clock. We talked about that. Now let's look at find the minute. Look at the long hand, okay? In order to figure out what this is, because we can see that it's pointed at the five, but when it's the minute hand, not the hour, you can't just write five. It's not 205. The hour, you can just look right at the number, but the minutes, here's how we figure it out. You start at 12. So we're gonna start at 12. Then we skip count by fives. Do you guys know how to skip count by fives? Let's practice here together. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. We can stop there because there's 60 minutes in an hour. Okay, so when we go to the one, it is five o'clock, or five, I'm sorry, not five o'clock, five minutes. Okay, so if the pink was on the two and the blue was on the one, we could see that it, and let me scoot this over a little bit so you can see the number still, it would be 205. All right, what comes after? It goes five, 10, right? Five, 10, what comes next? I heard it, 15. Keep going, friends. 20, 25. Thirty. Okay, we're halfway there. Can you see, friends? 
how we've gone halfway through and we know that 30 is half of 60. Let's keep going. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, we're almost there. I'm gonna jump over here. 55 and 60. We did it, friends. All right, let's practice that together again. All right, so the shorthand in the pink points to the hour. So we know it's two. And it's two all the way until it gets to the next hour, which would be three. Then the blue hand, that's our minute hand. We start at 12 and we skip count by fives. Let's do it, friends. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Am I where the blue long minute hand is pointing? I sure am. What's that number that's next to the five? Nice job, friends. You are right. It is 25. So we have officially found the minute. So I'm going to put it on our digital clock down here. And it says, what is our time? 2.25. Yay. Nice job, friends. You guys found the time with me on this analog clock. So we can see here it is 225. So it's the same down here, 225. Now, let's talk about AM and PM. Remember in my song, I said, then there's afternoon and night, it's judged by AM, PM. Midnight to noon would be AM, noon to night is PM. Okay, so it says, we know afternoon and night, and the clock goes around 12 hours and 12 hours to measure the a.m. and the p.m. Okay, it says midnight to noon would be a.m. So when it is midnight, which is 12 o'clock, then it is a.m. And it's officially a brand new day. And then all that time in the morning time until it gets to noon, usually that's right around lunchtime or right after lunchtime, that entire time would be a.m. And then when it reaches 12 noon in the middle of the day, from noon all the way to that nighttime, it's going to be p.m. So an easy way I want us to be able to think about it is let's make some connections to ourselves. So what are some things that you would do in the a.m. between midnight, so midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So what are some things that you would do in the morning time? Yeah, I heard someone say, eat breakfast. So I'm going to write that on our post-it note. We're going to add it to our chart underneath a.m. to help us remember. And so we don't get confused between the two. So under AM, I'm going to put eat breakfast, because that's something that's done in the morning time. What's something else that might happen in the morning? Yeah, I heard a friend say, go to school. That's perfect to bring up right now, since a lot of us are either have started already or going back to school very soon. So we get ready for school. All right, so that would again go on our AM side. Okay, and then any of those morning activities that you might have, that would all be in the AM. Okay, so my um, alchemy friends this year, we get there and we do morning meeting, even though right now we're virtual, and we do some yoga, and we have math and math centers, and then it gets closer to lunchtime. Okay, and then after it's noon, all the way to the evening, what are some things that we might do in the 
p.m. noon to midnight. Yeah, I heard a friend say, eat dinner. Right? We eat dinner in the evening. So it's between noon and midnight. So I'm gonna add eat dinner to our chart on this side. What's one more thing that we might do in the PM, in like in the evening? Nice job. I heard a friend say, get ready for bed. And go to sleep too, right? Get ready for bed. Nice job. All righty, friends, you guys did such an amazing job. Let's do a quick little review, and then we're going to practice telling time on this nice big handy-dandy class that we have right here. Okay, but first, let's just review what we talked about in our song and on our chart. So we said there are 24 hours in a day, right? It goes around two times. So 12 hours for a.m., 12 hours for p.m. 24 hours in a day, 60 minutes in an hour. So 60 minutes is the same as one hour. And then 60 seconds is the same as one minute. Nice job. Then we looked at our analog clock, which is like a face of a watch, and our digital clock. An analog clock has a short and long hand. The short hand tells us what? Nice, I can tell you guys have been listening with your whole body today. The hour hand. And all we have to do is look at the number that it's either right at or just past. So it would be two if it was pointed right at the two like it is here all the way until it gets to the next hour at three o'clock. And then for the minute, that's our long hand. We start at the top of the clock at 12, which is 60 uh, minutes, and then we skip count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. So we saw here that we were at the five, which is at the 25 minute mark. So we wrote on our digital clock, 2.25 is the time. And if it was a.m., it would be 2.25 a.m. That's very late at night. Or it could be 2.25 p.m. in the afternoon. And we also talked about some things you might do in the morning and some things you might do at night to help us remember. You guys are amazing and doing such a good job so far. All right. Let's see if we can do some practice. Are you guys ready? I'm going to put a time on the clock. And you are going to tell me what you think it is. Are you ready? Okay. My clock is a little loose here, so I'm going to try to hold it in place. Okay. Do you guys see right here? So, first thing we're going to do is look at which one, the hour or the minutes. You got it. We're gonna look at the hour first. So, oops, my shorthand is my hour right here. So here's that and my shorthand. So is my shorthand on one? No, it's not. But is it all the way on two just yet? No, it's close, but it's not all the way there just yet. So it's still between one and two, making the hour what? You got it, one. Now, my long hand is all the way over here. So, what do we have to do? Nice, we start at 12, oops, and skip count by fives. Are you guys ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. You got it, so what time is it right here on my clock? Nice job, friends. It is 1.50. All right, let's see if we can do another one. Let's see if I can get my clock to stay, too. All right, let's go here and here. Okay. All righty, friends. What do you guys think? So which one do we look at first? The minute, right? 
No, you got it. I tried to trick you, but you guys got it. We look at the hour hand first. What is the hour hand pointed at or closest to? You got it, it's the five. And it would still be within five o'clock all the way from here until it got to the six, okay? But we can see here it's on the five. Now I gotta look at my long hand, which is the minute hand. We start at 12 and we skip count by fives. Five, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, you got it, 35. So what time is it? It is 5.35. Nice job, friends. I think we have time to do one more. I'm gonna see if I can trick you. You guys ready? Okay, I think I got it. Whoa, <laughs> all right, what do you guys think? Which one do we look at first? You got it, we look at the hour hand, which is pointed at what? The two, nice job. Now we have to skip count by fives. So we start at 12, so we can figure out our long hand or minute hand here. 12, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So what time is it? 2.55, nice job. Now, I have a question that I want you to think about and we're gonna get into this a little bit more tomorrow. All right, so we know the hour hand is pointed at two, but what if it wasn't right on the five? What if it was one, two, three over. What time do you think it would be? Nice job. I hear some friends thinking, well, if it's 55 and we add three more, 55, 56, 57, 58. Nice job. We'll practice that some more tomorrow together, friends. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later. Bye. in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.